didn't mean to scare the entire industry, but it kind of it's kind of getting there. They need to be a little scared. It seems. Well, I mean, you know, people people talk about fear all the time, and I I don't think of it as as fear. I just think of it as like, look, man, you, you're engaging in conduct. There's only one law that really applies to you when you're talking about outbound calling, and it's the yeah. TCPA. It's just like anything else. You're an yeah, insurance broker. You know, you, like insurance requirements, the law of insurance applies to you. So like, you're not afraid of that. You just know you have to comply with it, right? It's the same thing with, with the telemarketing laws. Like it's something to be afraid of. It's just, you have to understand this is the law and you have to follow it just like any other law. Uh, and then once you're empowered and you're educated and you know about it, it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, you know, True. it's not as if it can't be complied with. Well, as I told you, it is tricky for brokers right now with the language that the FCC used, and that needs to be adjusted. But outside of that issue, you know, once you understand the rules, you you can comply, assuming you've got the right partners. And that's the issue, right. you know, that you started with and that will end with is the real issue is the divide between the lead buyers who need to be educated and buy only valid leads and the lead sellers who are not incentivized under the new rule to really obey the right. rule. They, sure. They're incentivized to sell as much as they can still and basically trick lead buyers into buying garbage. Um, and, and that's why the REACH membership, again, which is so invaluable because REACH members, you know, are held to the highest standards uh, as lead sellers. Uh, and so you don't have to be as worried when you're buying a, a lead from a REACH, uh, a REACH member. Uh, so that's really something to think about. That's that's very good. And, and I personally gonna will, will promote that as well. You know, I came into this industry, like I said, from from a. I was corporate finance, stepping into personal finance was a, a transition within itself. But uh, I didn't come in thinking I'd get involved in trying to clean up some of the, you know, the malfeasance here, we'll call it. Um, but and I'm still don't see like I really am in like I haven't tasked myself in cleaning up the industry in any way. But I, I guess I would look at it like I'm trying to do my part by offering programs that are better and are compliant and ethical, especially uh, that doesn't create those issues so that maybe that's my way of helping and contributing to the cleanup. Just final words out to, to agents, IMO and carriers. And, and of course the lead as well, your final words, if you were going to throw out your ending here to, to, to warn them properly. Uh, what, what would you say to, to the groups? I just understand the law has changed. You've got to educate yourself. You've got that responsibility. There is no, you know, not knowing the law is not a defense and you work too hard to create your business to see everything go down the drain because of a phone call, right? Just do it the right way. That's it. Simple as that. Awesome stuff. I've really enjoyed this podcast. Like I'm, I'm very grateful you came on and, and to share this. I think you're doing a, a very good thing. Like you're, you're, you're amazing at what you're, you're getting involved in and how you, you've found your way in this space and, and you're, you're owning it. So I, I guess I can't tell you how grateful I am. And as these things develop, you're, you're welcome to come back on and we'll, we'll keep some updates for the, for the, especially the insurance industry is where I'm providing most information, uh, lead generation as well. Um, but yeah, if you're willing to come on and let's keep people updated as the, as it develops, uh, you're absolutely welcome to come on and let's do that and continue. But, uh, that's, this has been amazing. And I, I really grateful you came on, took the time to share this with us. I'm, I think we're going to do a lot of good with this podcast. Wonderful. Well, pleasure to be here. Good. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. You've just watched a segment of our interview with attorney Eric Troutman. We'll put another segment of this interview right over here. I really encourage that you watch this entire interview. We'll put that video right here. See you guys next time.